Double salute as always, Black Goose TV family. Y'all already know what it is. Y'all already know what time we on. Y'all already know the vibes. Y'all already know the energy. It's absolutely amazing, man. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling amazing. Happy Wednesday to the people. We in the middle of the week already, which is absolutely crazy. We about to hit the weekend. So you already know Fluence Lounge is coming up. Um, so I'm absolutely excited for that. We're going to go crazy when it comes to that UFC card that's coming up, man. It's going to be fire. But uh, with all that being said, man, I'm excited to talk about this particular story. Now, the reason why I'm excited to talk about this with y'all Black Goose TV family, not because I love the drama, not because I love the smoke, not because I love all the you know controversy and all that type of shit. That's not the case, man. It's because I think this is a very interesting development in the world of boxing, man. Like, let's really break this down. Let's look at it. Let's analyze it. Let's 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 really get into the nitty gritty of this. You know what I'm saying? Rather than just you know going straight off of you know what I'm saying what the article was saying all that type of stuff. Let me tell y'all how I feel about this joint, right? And because I have to, right? Because I, I've been told you I'm always going to support Ryan Garcia because he's from where I'm from uh, to an extent. You know what I'm saying? So. Canelo and Ryan Garcia's relationship has been one of the weirdest things in the world. It kind of, in, in my opinion, uh, it's very, I won't say similar, but it's almost like reminiscent of Canelo's and Oscar De La Hoya's, right? Uh, but it's more almost like, you know, Ryan Garcia figured it out a lot quicker than uh, Canelo and he got out of there, you know what I'm saying? He got out of there a lot sooner than Canelo, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it's not, it's not, it's not the same, but I see similarities in it. And I'm gonna tell you guys why. So, um, obviously you guys see the title below, you know what I'm saying? You see what the article is saying over here. So if you're interested in anything I'm saying, man, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you're not part of the family and comment on this joint, I'm going to hear what you guys have to say about this topic, especially this topic, uh, because it's such a damn interesting one. So, uh, make sure you guys drop that below in the notification gang. But so apparently, allegedly, uh, I don't know how true this article is, or I should say, I don't know how true this headline is because I haven't read the article to see the exact quotes. Uh, but it's very rare boxing scene is on the clickbait side of the game, like Boxing News 24, you know, like uh, uh, watching a reaction video or something. Uh, but it says Canelo blasts Ryan Garcia. He said he's ungrateful. He has accomplished nothing. He owes Eddie Reno some money and he won't be tank. And then also, too, I don't know if you guys are aware, but um, I think it was yesterday. It was either yesterday or earlier today. Um, they basically asked him who his favorite current fighter is right now when he said tank. So. Um, and I think that's the shot. I think that's the, uh, he may really mean it, but I think also that's just a smart shot at Floyd and it's a shot at Ryan Garcia, like a subliminal shot. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we, all, we already know how, you know, Floyd always says something about Canelo, always says something about Canelo where he's not that good. Uh, whereas Canelo is usually pretty respectful about Floyd and rightfully so, because he did lose to him. Um, but for him to say tank and we all, it's just, it's just a very strategic move. You know what I'm saying? He's taking a shot at Floyd and he's taking a shot at Ryan. You know what I'm saying? But uh, with him to be so candid, and if he did really say that, which we're definitely going to read the quotes to make sure that's accurate, I just think it's petty of Canelo, right? I think it's mad petty. And I think out of this relationship, I think Canelo is more hurt out of this relationship than the young Ryan Garcia. I think Canelo really saw Ryan Garcia as something he was going to mentor, bring up, and really be able to like sit back. And I think he really, like I said, it's reminiscent of Oscar and Canelo's relationship is just Ryan Garcia got out of Dodge a lot quicker than Canelo did. Canelo didn't get out of Dodge until way later. But it's but it's 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 it's, it's very it it, it kind of screams the same thing in my opinion because once again like I'm going to break down the timeline so we can have context. It's going to be quick. I'm definitely not going to uh uh you know beat a dead horse because everybody already knows what the situation was and and what led up to this but you know um people are always misconceived and you know spread around misinformation. Um, Ryan Garcia never brought up anything about Canelo, never said anything about leaving. He never said anything about Reynoso not having any time initially. And what I mean by initially is he did not make that known, right? The first person to say anything about Ryan Garcia leaving the camp was Oscar. And people don't want to acknowledge that. People make it seem like it was Ryan, right? Excuse me, by the way, disclaimer, my allergies are crazy. So, but People want to make it seem like it was Ryan who said something first, but it wasn't. If you go back and you look, Oscar was the first one when he was getting ready for the to-go fight. He said in, the, uh, in, a, in, a, in a, when he was getting interviewed, he was basically like, yeah, well, actually, Ryan's not with Eddie Reynoso no more. He's with Goosen now. He switched camps. And man, and he had he had switched camps like for a while now. It had been a while since he had switched camps. But um, he said he switched camps. Um, and basically, the reason why is Eddie Reynoso never got no time from him. He felt like he didn't you know, get no love, and, and, and he was just too busy with Canelo, right? Oscar put that out there. He was the one who said that. Then Canelo responded, and the reason why everyone switched the narrative, the big, you know, obviously, what have you done for me lately? Or I'm a fanboy of Canelo. You won't do your proper research, and the people who do do the proper research, you definitely won't listen to them because the majority of these boxing channels were really big and picked up the story. They ran with the same narrative, and it's not true, but Canelo responded directly to Ryan. 
He didn't respond to Oscar. So Canelo's response to Ryan made everyone believe that Ryan was the person who first said anything about the situation and put out there that he left when it wasn't. It was Oscar, right? I've said this a million times in all the videos I've did on covering this particular beef, right? So with Canelo being a bigger star, respond to Ryan, uh, Ryan had to say something back because it was making him look bad. It was making him look as if he had no work ethic and people already has, you know, people already looks at him. Uh, in a very negative light so that's when ryan garcia basically came out confirmed what oscar said and he basically kept it light it's simple and he said if you don't believe me ask frank chances excuse me sanchez uh obviously there was more back and forth but fast forward to now and the person who's been in the truth or the person who's been proven to be uh um, correct is ryan garcia if you want to take your feelings out of it because frank sanchez is no longer with eddie reynoso victor ortiz jr is no longer with eddie reynoso in fact, Frank Sanchez went to the same camp as Ryan Garcia. He's with the same trainer, Joe Goosen. So explain to me how Canelo and Eddie Reynoso was telling the truth, but literally the two alibis Garcia had, they're gone. And no one even knows if Andy Ruiz is training with Eddie Reynoso's camp for this upcoming uh, uh, Luis Ortiz fight. It hasn't been made public knowledge, and I would think it would have been made a big deal because I would get a lot more publicity behind it. So um, let's not act like everything is right in front of our face and we can see what it really is um let's 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 not do that stop stop being a person where it's like okay everything is right here in front of my face but, but i love canelo so much i'm just gonna believe him and i hate garcia so much fuck the facts that's what a lot of y'all do and it's irritating but i'm the person to call y'all out on that's probably why y'all don't fuck with me like that but it is what it is man i, I ain't one of them uh, you know other dudes who ooh, 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 i'm gonna talk about shit and i'm gonna say shit that everyone wants to hear nah man i ain't that type of nigga i ain't never been that type of nigga man in every aspect of my life you feel me so with that being said I went to put that, you know what I'm saying, put context to all this to basically be like, it sounded like Canelo was mad salty because understand that this is in reference or in response to Ryan Garcia saying he thinks Triple G has a chance at beating Canelo. That's how salty Canelo is. I really think Canelo saw Ryan Garcia as his little bro. He was about to bring him up. He's like, you my little bro. I'm going to be the big bro to you. I'm going to really get you on point. You're going to be the next me. And then when Ryan Garcia dipped, it's like, it's like when you got a big bro, right? And he thinks he's your mentor. Like, he really thinks he's your big bro. But the whole time, you're looking at big bro, and he's like, nigga, we don't vibe like that. You ain't teaching me shit. Actually, you're making my life worse. So as soon as you dip out, that nigga's going to take offense. Like, wow, da, 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 because he don't understand. He's in such a bubble, and he never understood where your perspective or what you were trying to achieve. He was putting what he wanted on you. And as soon as you realize it, you're like, man, nigga, I'm out. Nigga, like, nigga, you ain't on the same page as me. So that's how I kind of see it. Uh, but let's go ahead and get to the nitty gritty because, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I want to give you guys my opinion. If you guys, you know, disagree with any of that, man, drop it below in the comment. I know a lot of y'all hate Ryan Garcia. So y'all going to be like, man, you're just capping. So uh, bring all the smoke, nigga. I'm ready for it. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple of swishes over here. I mean, I can roll all that up. It ain't done. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and go down. Uh, so let's 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 here's a little context from here. Garcia attributed his departure from Team Canelo due to the fact that Reynoso could not be 100% committed to training him. He later added that he was tired and fed up with Alvarez's shocking criticism. Garcia recently reunited Alvarez's ear or a fire, excuse me, when he predict, uh, predicted Triple G would beat Alvarez when the two meet in their trilogy. After learning of Garcia's prediction, Alvarez again unloaded a barrage of verbal blows on the upstart lightweight contender. Look at you, emotional. So this is what Canelo goes on to say. He's just mad for something. He's no longer on the team. He's always going to be versus us no matter what, but he's a little kid. That's disrespectful. He's a grown, he's, a grown, he's younger than you, but he's a grown man and he has a daughter. You need to understand him. He needs to learn a lot of things. My advice for him is to do your job, focus on your career, win a world championship first, then talk about other people because you've accomplished nothing and you start talking about fighters who accomplished a lot. When I was 20 years old, I was world champion. You can call out everybody and say and talk everything, but at the end of the day, you were doing nothing. It is what it is. We need to understand him now that he's no longer, excuse me, we need to understand him now that he's no longer with the Canelo team. He's going to talk mad shit about us. It's fine. But he needs to remember how much Eddie did for him. A lot of things. He's in the father still owe money to Eddie and Eddie doesn't say anything. Because he doesn't need it. It's not fair that he's talking shit about everything in the camp. He came to my gym and we showed him love and support. He then goes and says anything. He's not grateful. When a person is ungrateful, it's the worst thing. It's crazy because, um, you, like, look at you emotional. Like, Canelo, you sound mad emotional, bro. All he said was he thought Triple G was going to win. He has every right to predict the fight. And, nigga, you come back and you make it seem like he's just bashing your camp and saying ill things about you when he's never done that. You calling him a little boy when you acting like a little boy in your responses, broski. Aside from the wrath, Alvarez still supports his former teammate. Of course, I will still root for him when he fights. Why not? Yeah, I'm not jealous. I just wish all oh, the best for him. I don't really think, okay, Alvarez has admitted several times that Davis is his favorite boxer to watch, and he signed with taking a pinch, uh, as tank in a potential fight against Garcia. I don't really think so that Gar uh, Garcia can beat Davis. Not yet. If he puts his mind to boxing and tries to learn everything, he can do a lot of things. 
he's a lot of talent. So it's like an underhanded comment. So it's one of those things where, you know, someone don't really fuck with you, right? You a bitch. You ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't doing nothing. Da, 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 da. But hey, yo, uh, respect to you for what you've done in your life. You know what I'm saying? I wish nothing but blessings. It's like, wait, hold up. You just insulted me for 15 minutes. And then the very end, he was like, nah, but, you know, keep doing what you're doing. I respect it. And, you know, it'll be the best you can be. So I don't understand the animosity coming from Canelo. It's almost like he, like, well, I do. You know what I'm saying? I kind of explained it before. I think he saw his little brother, big brother relationship. And I think he was just, he, I think he was really hurt by Ryan Garcia leaving. I really think that. I really think that. And I think the fact that Ryan Garcia is with Oscar, Oscar and Canelo has their relationship. I think it's just it's just Ryan getting caught up in some shit that got nothing to do with him. And every time he's going to voice his opinion and it has to do with Canelo, uh, if it's not something Canelo wants to hear, he's going to assume it's Garcia going crazy um, and he's just going to go at him crazy. And I don't think that's right because Garcia hasn't said anything but good words about Canelo. Let's be 100. Let's be 100. We can't find no nothing bad he said about him other than picking against him. Like, what? But let me know, man. I might be tripping. I might be missing something. If I am, drop it in the comments below. Like the video. Subscribe. Love y'all. Appreciate you. These allergies are kicking my ass. So I'm going to get up out of here, man. Y'all see this snot dripping. I'm doing the best I can, man. If this is distracting, I'm sorry, y'all. But I'm still putting the content out. I don't know switching niggas out of the game. I'll be back with more boxing. Love y'all. Appreciate you.